In this problem, we want to discuss concavity and find the points of inflection to this function. So we got f of x is equal to x to the fourth plus 3x squared. Well, our first step is to find second derivative. So f prime, take your power, put it out in front, lower it by 1. Plus 3, take your power, put it out in front, lower it by 1. <coughs> so that's 4x to the third plus 6x. Then for our second derivative, f double prime. 4 stays out in front, take your power, put it out in front, lower it by 1. 6x just becomes 6. <coughs> so we got 12x squared plus 6. Now our second step is to set this equal to 0. So we've got 12x squared plus 6 is equal to 0. Now 12x is 6. Where did, where did that come from? I shouldn't do this first thing in the morning. Uh, 12x squared. There we go. Now I solve for x. So I take the 6 over. Becomes a negative 6. Divide both sides by 12. And we got x squared is equal to negative 6 twelfths or x squared is equal to negative one-half. Now this is a square root property. Square root property says you drop your squared, put a plus or minus square root on the other side. But there's a problem here. <coughs> um, negative inside of a square root gives us an i. So I don't know much else about this, but it would be x is equal to plus or minus i something. Well, anytime you come with the i's, you never want to use those. Those aren't critical values which means we have no critical values which means our interval is um, negative infinity to positive infinity we still have concavity okay so um, if I look at my second derivative which is right here we want to pick test cases something between negative infinity and positive infinity like zero Plug 0 into our second derivative. We got 12 times 0 squared plus 6. 0 squared 0 times 12 is 0 plus 6 is positive, which means it's concave up. So it's concave up from negative infinity to positive infinity. Now, uh, your POIs exist where um, concavity changes. Well, since it's concave up everywhere, that means there are no POIs. And those will be your answers.